The first week of lockdown, Quaker elders in Victoria sent around this quote. One thing that I've kept in mind a lot um, through responding to the pandemic has been this phrase that I heard once, um, in case of emergency, be silent. Because I've had time to read and reflect because of not being able to do a lot else. And thinking about my life, being more simple, simplified, like that's that's one of the testimonies is simplicity. And I would say prior to the COVID and quarantine isolation, my life was not very simple. You know, the early Quakers and the quietest Quakers really tried to live a contemplative life in their family situation, particularly in their farms and their and their homes. And um, this is more like that. I think I'm fortunate enough to be someone who's actually benefited from participating in Quaker meetings for worship online. Now, I can do meeting for worship every week from my bedroom in my pajamas, but usually I do the news reader thing and put a shirt over the top so it doesn't look like I'm still in my pajamas. The uh, first meeting for worships that I attended after um, lockdown had been put in place was just a really beautiful um, time where people were sharing a lot of their vulnerabilities. We really needed each other. We really needed that, um, that space to sit in silence um, and also that space after meeting to connect. I haven't needed to um, be Zooming and doing other things to connect to people because my experience of Quakers is that we're always all, always connected. It's also helped me to understand more broadly the impact that a lockdown is having on a great diversity of people just because my community is more diverse than it would have been without Quakerism. At, a, at its simplest level for me, it's actually about being present to people and listening because, I, you know, my sense is um, for a lot of people this time is causing huge uh, anxiety, uh, fear, uncertainty. Um, and I think it's really important that we tend to that. The way I see other Quakers conducting themselves in the pandemic um, is something which which helps me um, reflect on the life that I want to live. When I was having some not-so-positive mental health times at the start of lockdown, I definitely turned to Quaker practices more, more so, uh, to try to ground myself a bit more. Of course, I'm also sad for the people who are suffering and losing relatives and um, uh, and being um, uh, isolated in their house where they're not happy, where there's tension and um, uh, and their li life has become even more stressed. But maybe we'll find our way through those things as well um, as a community. It's been an opportunity to reflect on what the Religious Society of Friends and Quakerism has in common with other faiths and other religions. And that probably makes a difference to how I engage with the community and engage with people of faith. It's a fundamental tenet of most faiths that you love one another and you treat other people as you would want to be treated.